Bien, señora y señores, buenos días. Son las 8.35 minutos en la mañana. Nosotros aquí en WSHFM hablamos de lo que eh, vemos a través de la, de la televisión, eh, la devastación de, de Puerto Rico y de algunas islas en el Caribe. Eh, y es lo que vemos en televisión, lo que nos puede decir algún miembro de la familia, pero alguien que ha estado allí, que ha podido ver y palpar de cerca la devastación, el dolor de la gente, es quien puede hablar con, con propiedad. Uh, we, the, we look on the TV, the images of uh, the devastation in the Iceland, the pain of the people, uh, we just seeing that. But being there, seeing it, and feeling the pain of the people is something totally different. And Congressman Smoker was there this past weekend. Good morning and welcome to Café con Leche. Good morning, good to be here. It's a pleasure to have you here. Tell us what was your impression when you flew over Puerto Rico this past weekend? Sure, yeah, well, um, you know, I was very um, pleased to have the opportunity to uh, go on this trip. This was a congressional delegation put together by the White House. Uh, and Congresswoman Gonzalez, who's a, a dear friend of mine, uh, and I had been discussing how we could be helpful to Puerto Rico. She's aware that uh, you know I have a large population of individuals from Puerto Rico who reside uh, in my district in both Lancaster and the Reading areas, uh, and so asked whether I would uh, uh, go along on this trip. And just several takeaways, and you have to tell me when you want me to okay, stop anyway. here, but several takeaways. Um, uh, one, you know, we, we had an opportunity, we flew into San Juan Airport and then went to a nearby airport and then flew helicopters out across much of the island. Um, and, you know, one of the first takeaways is just the, the scope of the devastation is just really, really sobering. Um, you know, from uh, everywhere we went, you, you could see the damage uh, to homes, you could see the damage to the agriculture areas, damage to the, the uh, forested areas. Um, you know, it was, uh, uh, Congresswoman Gonzalez said it was like having a tornado, force winds, but for nine hours. So think about that. Um, so that's... Um, That's, that's one of the first takeaways, was just the magnitude of it was really heartbreaking to see. Um, and then, um, secondly, the, you know, we met with FEMA, we met with uh, uh, governor, uh, the, the governor, we met with uh, General Buchanan, uh, and met, uh, all the military folks, the Coast Guard, uh, everyone who has been involved with the recovery effort. Mm -hmm. Um, and I must say that you know, the full attention is being paid to uh, ensuring that lives are being saved, that um, you know hospitals uh, are are up and running. Um, you know, you're just simply tr trying to first save lives, reach all of the people in the island who've been affected, uh, and then ensure that people have uh, food and water. Um, this has been. You know, that that uh, saving lives and the security of people all across the island has been the focus of the first uh, two and a half weeks of the recovery effort. Um, and I must say that um, you know th it has been an effective effort. Um, I'll stop Thank at you. that, sure. Señoras y señores, nos menciona el congresista eh, Lois Smoker, quien está con nosotros en la mañana de hoy, quien viajó a Puerto Rico este pasado fin de semana, que se sintió muy complacido de poder viajar a Puerto Rico. Esta fue una delegación eh, congresional eh, del Congreso de los Estados Unidos eh, que se realizó junto a la comisionada residente Jennifer González. Dice que eh, él, en, en su distrito, tiene a muchas personas eh, de nacionalidad puertorriqueña, tanto en, en el área que cubre Lancaster como el área que, que también eh, concierne al área del condado de Berks. Dice que ellos eh, viajaron a San Juan, Puerto Rico, y de ahí eh, viajaron eh, en helicóptero, prácticamente eh, atravesaron la isla en helicóptero. Dice que en todas las partes que, fu que fueron o sobrevolaron casas, agricultura, las áreas de la costa, eh, 
totalmente devastado. Describía, dice él, la comisionada residente Jennifer González, que la devastación era similar a la que deja un tornado, con la diferencia de que ese tornado en Puerto Rico duró nueve horas. ¿Ok? Dice que, en sus palabras, eh, le rompe el corazón haber visto tanta devastación. Eh, luego de, de, este, de este viaje, eh, se reunieron con la gente de FEMA, con el gobernador Ricardo eh, Rosselló, con el general Buchanan, eh, con la gente de la Cruz Roja y con otro personal que está precisamente para, para ayudar eh, en, en esta catástrofe. Dice que ellos, eh, su enfoque primordial es el de salvar vidas, atención eh, completa a salvar vidas y a llegar eh, el de llegar a todos los afectados. Dice que eh, se, han, se han concentrado en que estas personas que han sido afectadas tengan agua y tengan comida, pero hay una, una gran devastación eh, y hace falta muchísima ayuda. Congressman, When 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 you talk about help, right? Well, what is the help that the Puerto Rican need right now? Well, um, and I'll, if I may, just continue mm -hmm. a little bit on what I had said earlier. You know, the first takeaway was the 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 devastation, mm -hmm. the scope of that. Secondly, was the uh, just massive effort of of rescue. Um, there are sixteen. Uh, thousand boots people on the ground right now between FEMA and, mm -hmm. and the department um, yes um, and um, you know it's 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 reaching everyone uh, many of the roads are open now but not all of them but everyone is being reached with food and water the FEMA has mm -hmm. delivered millions of meals Uh, and millions of bottles of water, and even to the extent going uh, to areas where they cannot yet access by roads, they're doing uh, airdrops, yeah. helicopter yeah. drops yeah. of food and water. Yeah. Uh, but the need is still <clears throat> massive. Um, this will be a long recovery effort. It's going to take a lot of help, uh, continued help uh, from FEMA, from the government, from the military, uh, and then help from private organizations as well. Um, the immediate need now, uh, the most pressing need, is to restore the electrical grid, exactly. which, as we were flying over some of the mountainous areas, they had lines, uh, you know, mm -hmm. big power lines mm -hmm. running across the top of some of those mountains. So we saw multiple areas where those towers mm -hmm. were just completely felled. Um, and so restoring the power is uh, is a big effort. It's going to take a while, but it, it is the need. Right now, they, there's really no economy. That, you know, business, places yeah, of business can't open. Um, no, and so there's, uh, you know, that, that's, the, that's the immediate mm -hmm. need. And since it's an island, you know, when you see hurricanes on the mainland, you see all the trucks uh, from electrical mm -hmm. companies all across the country. Uh, you know, driving there and helping. In this case, those trucks have to get on a ship and have to make it to the island. Uh, plus, the grid in Puerto Rico was already in poor shape, um, and so it's, um, it's 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 quite an effort to do that. But it, there's an urgent need to restore power to to the island. Any help? Wow. Any help or any special help from the federal government that you seen? Oh yes. Eventually? Oh. Um, in that area and in every other mm -hmm. area. Thank so you. Congress initially, um, in fact, after Harvey and Irma, after the first two hurricanes, uh, there was an immediate need for funding for FEMA. And uh, we authorized $15 billion for FEMA, which was could be used for Puerto Rico as well as uh, right. Houston and Florida. Um, and there's, uh, we'll continue to fund FEMA as needed. I'm confident of that we must. And and Puerto Rico, um, uh, you, you know, will get, should and will, I believe, uh, receive the same treatment as any of the other areas that have been impacted by by hurricanes. So Congress is ready to act. Um, there is, uh, I think, it's a 29 billion dollar aid package now that will be. Uh, introduced, I believe, this week. It's a it's a request from the you know we respond to the administration and the administration responds to uh, the governors and and folks in the affected areas. Uh, so there will be, I'm sure, multiple 
uh, requests for assistance, um, and and we're going to need to um, we're going to need to respond to those. Bien, señoras y señores, eh, hablando de, de, de la necesidad mayor que hay en Puerto Rico en este momento, nos eh, dice el, el congresista Lois Smoker que ahora mismo la gran necesidad es la de restablecer el sistema Aquí eléctrico de la isla. Sí. ¿Ya? Dice que eh, desde, desde el aire, eh, él pudo viajar en helicóptero a través de la isla, dice que desde el aire se ven cientos y cientos de torres del tendido eléctrico en el suelo. Dice que se va a necesitar un gran esfuerzo definitivamente para que se pueda restablecer el servicio eléctrico, que es una de las, de las mayores prioridades en este momento. Y uno de los más difíciles. Y uno de los más difíciles, Porque no es como aquí, si algo pasa en Texas, mandan Exacto. camiones de otros estados y llegan y se aquí, acabó el problema. Aquí hay que aquí enviarlos, hay que enviarlos en por barco. barco, por un barco y toma su tiempo hasta llegar allá. Y ahí dice, que, y, dice él yes. que... Y, y le pregunto sobre cuál es el compromiso de, del, Congreso, eh, del Congreso y del gobierno federal de los Estados Unidos. Sé que es grandísimo. Dice que ellos inmediatamente luego de los eh, anteriores huracanes, Harvey y, y, y los otros huracanes, ellos eh, firmaron una asignación de 15 millones de dólares para FEMA, para ayudar a la gente en Houston, Florida y, ¿por qué no?, también Puerto Rico. Dice que ellos deben y tienen que seguir ayudando y que definitivamente habrán otras eh, asignaciones para, para estos eh, desastres. Puerto Rico eh, no está solo. Hace falta, señoras y señores, que ustedes también eh, se comuniquen con los congresistas y le den saber la importancia, sobre todo usted que está aquí en, en esta área y que eh, vote o no por el congresista que está con nosotros en la mañana de hoy. Usted tiene voz okay? y a ellos les gusta escuchar que las personas eh, llamen y, y, y le dejen saber lo que es importante para usted y en este momento entendemos que esto es de vital eh, importancia para la isla de, 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 de Puerto Rico, del encanto que sigue siendo la isla sí, sí, sí. del encanto. Pero una buena noticia haciendo. que me gustó, que yes. dijo que hay 29 millones uh -huh. hoy día, que today is 20, will we approve 29 million today or tomorrow? Uh, uh, I think the request will be request. submitted to Congress of, uh, this week. Okay. Ellos sometieron sure y, y están that, requiriendo yeah. 29 millones mm -hmm. for Puerto, only for Puerto Rico, ¿no? Uh, that includes assistance okay. for all of the areas okay. uh, affected by the hurricanes. In fact, there's, mm -hmm. there's uh, areas out west that are affected by wildfires as well, so a small portion of that goes to that. Es uh, dinero que 29 well. millones que se van a distribuir en otras catástrofes, pero es bueno porque se suma los... Eh, ¿Cuántos millones eran anteriormente? 15 millones. Creo, hablando, ¿no? We're talking sí. about billions. Billions. Ah, billions. Son I'm sorry, me quedé corte. Son billones. Billions. Ah, eso es mejor, sí, porque millones. Billions. Yo decía, wow. Billions. O sea, es buena noticia, porque sí se están dando, se están aprobando fondos que eh, ahora que, como nuevamente decía Héctor, pon, poner eh, la fuerza eh, eh, de nosotros, los, los ciudadanos americanos, y llamar que parte de ese dinero vaya destinado ex, específicamente para Puerto Rico. Yes. Estamos, estamos buenos. Pero también hay 16 mil personas eh, militares ya en, sí, la isla, en la isla que están Canto. trabajando y están ca están tratando de ayudar a que se restaure la yes. isla. Eso son buenas noticias. Congressman, you feel the pain. You see all the devastation in Puerto Rico. What would be your message to our listener this morning? What would be the message? The message for them. Puerto Rican. Yes. Dominican. Right. Colombian. Friends, Ecuadorian. Right. Ecuadorian, what your message? No, no. Well, you know, it was, um, I, I, th I think several things. Mm -hmm. One, and, you know, I just want to say that the effort, uh, the, the, the recovery effort is being done in conjunction with uh, the governor of Puerto Rico, uh, the mayors, and the people of Puerto Rico who are resilient. <coughs> um, and I... I know that Puerto Rico, the island, will come back stronger than ever, ever before because of the resilience of, of uh, the people who live there. Um, but I think uh, you know, people there can be assured that we will not forget uh, what has occurred. While I was down there, there was a fundraiser occurring here uh, in Lancaster for the Puerto Rican uh, people. Um, and I think that just that says a lot about uh, who we are as Americans. It's one of the things that makes our country great. Um, we're willing to step up 
uh, and help uh, with citizens wherever that may be, wherever there are citizens in need. And that's going to happen here. It's going to happen for the people in Houston. It's going to happen for the people in Florida and for the uh, citizens in, in Puerto Rico as well. Um, and it'll be help not only from uh, the government, which is very, very important, mm -hmm. but it'll be it'll be other Americans mm -hmm. reaching out uh, to fellow citizens in need. Um, that's very, very important. This will be a long, sustained recovery effort. Um, but you, you know, people in Puerto Rico can know that the American people are with them. Yes. Bien, señoras yes. y señores, dice el congresista Smoker que el esfuerzo de recuperación eh, que se ha hecho conjuntamente con el gobierno de Puerto Rico, eh, él está seguro de que la isla volverá más fuerte que, que nunca. Dice que quiere que sepan que ellos no van a olvidarse de Puerto Rico. Una de las razones por las cuales él, él visitó la isla es porque hubo una, un, un evento de recaudación de fondos eh, en Lancaster y que Estados Unidos no se olvidará ni, ni de la gente en Puerto Rico, ni de la gente de Texas, ni de la gente de la Florida y que los americanos están dispuestos a ayudar y que continuarán eh, ayudando. I want to thank you, uh, Congressman. It's a pleasure to have you here and thank you for your quick answer uh, to our request to be here this morning. Uh, it's, it's a great, it's a great feeling to have you here. Sure. Uh, just coming back from Puerto Rico yeah. and, and tell us about your experience in our treasure. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yep. Good. Gracias. Mm -hmm. uh, really yes. great, great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Señoras y señores, está muy agradecido de estar con nosotros en la mañana de hoy. Para nosotros ha sido un placer haberle tenido aquí en la mañana de hoy al congresista Lois Morker. Será entonces hasta mañana cuando nuevamente aquí estemos con el mismo cariño y con el mismo amor de siempre en la edición ya entonces del miércoles de Café con Leche. Gracias Luxula, gracias María, gracias a Wilfredo y gracias a todos ustedes.